Welcome to Tissel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today, we will discuss how to use join in ArcGIS Pro. In this video, I will show you how to use join to combine information from a feature class and an attribute table. This procedure is usually needed when you have one feature class with limited information and another table with other information and both have one unique common field. By combining them, the final product could become really useful. Let's see an example. In today's exercise, we are using census data from Harris County, Texas. We have a feature class from Harris County with block groups and an attribute table with education data from the same area of people over 25 of age. In this feature class, if you check, we only get this many information. That's not saying much. We get to see which blog group it has and this GOID number. Now, if we look at this table, It has lots of information, the number of no completed schooling and different other level of education which has been completed in different areas. This table also has this field called GOID. Both the feature class and this attribute table has this common field. GOIDs are numeric codes that uniquely identify all administrative or legal and statistical geographic areas for which the Census Bureau tabulates data. This is very important. Now right click on the field in the table and select fields. In this table the data type is text. Let's see how it looks like in the Harris County blog group feature class. GOID is text here as well. Perfect. Let's close this up. Now that we see that they are both text data types, we can use this GOID as a unique common field for one-to-one -one join of the feature class and this education table. Let's right click on the feature class, select joins and relates, click on add join. This will open up this add join tool in the geo processing. This one is already selected. We are going to use the GOID tool for the join field. This is our join table. And yes, it has already selected GOID as the output join field. Now we have all these fields that has been populated from the education table. Notice we have the GOID field twice. That's because we use that to connect both tables. Let's try to symbolize this layer using this new data. Let's start with number of doctorate degree field. To change the symbology, go to appearance, select symbology. Now remember that the number of doctorate fields is a numeric field. So instead of unique values, we'll try the graduated colors. Select the field. You can change the color scheme here, number of classes, even the methods. This one already has selected natural breaks. Let's try something different. The equal interval. So we see that in this areas, there are lots of doctorates. There are 373 doctorate degrees from that area. And the number of no completed schooling is also low. Let's try the other end of the spectrum. So instead of doctorate degrees, let's see where we have less people completing school. 
as you can see in this side there are some areas with high number of no completed schooling. To see different fields symbolized in one map simply copy and paste it and name them accordingly. This is a good practice to make your map easily understandable to anyone. To recap, in this video, we saw how to join a feature class and an attribute table using a unique common field. We also discussed how to use symbology to better display the data. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. So, subscribe and ring that bell.